Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott with Let's Keep It Simple. And today we have another edition of Tweaked Out Tuesdays. Now I'm gonna do something a little different. Instead of just having one City of Tweak, I'm gonna show you five of my favorite City of Tweaks that are actually Siri add-ons. These will basically just add a little extra functionality to Siri. So let's check them out. So Assistant Extensions gives you the ability to modify Siri and add a lot of different functionalities to it. And I'm just gonna cover a few of my favorites, including one bonus one. So first, we have JPEG to Siri, which allows you to um, basically view different pictures. So let's test it out. Show me a random picture. I found this for you. Show me a derp picture. I found this for you. So Siri can even show you derp pictures, or even, for example, show me a WTF picture. You can pretty much say anything and it'll search for that for the web for that photo. Show me a funny picture. I found this for you. So that's JPEG to Siri. Um, next is Fact Assistant, which will tell you a random fact. So just launch Siri and say, Tell me a random fact. Fact Franklin D. Roosevelt, Albert Einstein. Edgar Allan Poe, Thomas Jefferson, Joe Hanbach, Charles Darwin, and Rudy Giuliani all merit their cousins, sex. So Siri will tell you a bunch of different facts based on sex, sports, and it'll all be based randomly. Let's try it again. Tell me a random fact. Fact. Vampire bats really do drink blood, sex. So apparently right now Siri is obsessed with sex. Um, next, one of my favorites since I study Spanish is Lingual, and it'll basically translate anything to 35 to 45 different languages. So let's give it a shot. Translate, let's keep it simple, to Spanish. Okay, here you go. Translate, how are you, to German. Okay, here you go. So as you can see, it'll translate it to different languages and even type it in a different language for you. So let's try a different one and see if it can do characters. Translate, thank you, Mr. Robot, to Japanese. Okay, here you go. And so here it says, thank you, Mr. Robot, in some Japanese characters, which is pretty cool. Uh, another one of my favorite things is cuteness assistant. And when you say, show me something cute, Siri will load up a picture from the web of something really cute. Cuteness overload. I need to respring after this. So here's an example. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. Show me something cute. Loading the cuteness. Watch out for the cuteness. These photos can be really funny, and Siri gets surprisingly sassy when you say something. Show me something cute. So these are pretty funny and I really like them a lot. So in order to enable certain things like Chuck Norris facts with Siri, you have to tap on Siri and say, let's chat. Yep, just a moment please until I load my brain. This will prompt her to say, yep, just a moment please until I load my brain. And this will probably take about 45 seconds to a minute for her to load. Damn it. Chuck Norris. While visiting the hexagon, Chuck Norris was asked to demonstrate his famous roundhouse kick. Henceforth, it has been known as the Pentagon. So when she's done loading and you say Chuck Norris to her, she'll tell you a random joke. So let's try it again. Chuck Norris. Neil Armstrong never went to the moon for NASA. He was trying to run away from Chuck Norris. So I really love these Chuck Norris jokes, and so I, I do this all the time. Chuck Norris. All right, now I got a bonus Siri tweak for you, and this one's called Aeropedia for Siri. And this will set you back $1, but basically if you're used to jailbreaking or downgrading and you've ever encountered any iTunes errors, this one's going to be a time saver for you. Basically, what it'll do is when you type in, what, or whenever you say what iTunes error you're encountering, it'll give you the answer as, as to why it's happening. So let's try it. iTunes error 1600. 
custom firmware can't be restored on a device with DFU mode. The software of the iPhone isn't patched. So you can see that is a really awesome tweak. That would be super beneficial to have whenever you're having a hard time downgrading or restoring or whatever it is that's going on. iTunes Air 1015. This error is common when downgrading iPhones and 3G enabled iPads. The problem occurs when this. So, honestly, that's a great lifesaver, and I think it's totally worth the dollar that it costs to buy this tweak. Uh, let's try it one more time. iTunes Air 1013. This means that the baseband did not get updated. Either remove the gsapple.com entry from your host. So that's a really great feature. Um, there's also some other noteworthy tweaks, but I'm not going to go into those yet. Well, those are some of the things that you can do with Siri. Alright, well that's it for this simple video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing as we'll have updates for City of Tweaks every Tuesday, themes on Thursdays, and miscellaneous in between. So if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Yeah.